starving. Me too. I could eat a horse. <laughs> Ugh. Leftover casserole again? You know what? I'm still digesting that bug I swallowed on the walk home. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't have time to cook. I have to get back to the community center to cater an event tonight. In fact, I could really use an extra set of hands. <laughs> Come on, somebody help me out. I think someone forgot to use deodorant. <laughs> Thanks, Larry. <laughs> we should leave now. We'll grab some cheeseburgers on the way. Oh. Ooh, I could use one more volunteer. Oh. Great, you're all on cleanup duty. <sighs> oh. Oh, I actually did forget to use deodorant. How are those finger sandwiches coming? Ow! Besides dangerously close to having actual fingers in them. Maybe you should start with this and work your way up. A butter knife? What can I possibly cut with a butter knife? Oh, I don't know. Butter? <laughs> oh, hi, Chelsea. Looking for a snack? Was it that obvious? Well, you did bring your own plate. <laughs> I'd have my assistant here whip you up something else, but he's got a... Oh, what's the medical term again? Ah, uh, yes. An ouchie. <laughs> Uh, I think I found a fingernail on my sandwich. Oh, that's mine. Good to know. You're probably gonna want it back. You keep it. I've got nine more. Thanks. I'll save it for later. <laughs> so, you work here now? Oh, I can see how you would make that mistake. But no, the truth is I'm a millionaire philanthropist. <laughs> Wait, your last name is Stanley, right? You're working for your mom. I work here too, in the front office, nights and weekends. How's your finger? About a quarter inch shorter than it used to be. I know first aid, I could take a look, but if it's under control. Uh, wait, it's deeper than I thought. And I've lost a lot of blood. <laughs> like, a lot. Are you feeling lightheaded? Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> Need some help with that? Hey! Why, you don't think your old man knows how to use a computer scanner? This is a scanner, right? It is. Unlike last time. In my defense, that looked like a scanner. It was a pizza box. <laughs> Which was similar in size and shape to a scanner. An honest mistake. It still had pizza in it. Okay. I'll admit, I'm a tad technologically challenged, but at least I know how to turn the computer on, and that is half the battle. Boom! You just turned it off. Come on! <laughs> does your offer to help still stand? Of course. And does it come at a steep price that I'll immediately regret agreeing to? Of course. <laughs> there, you're all set. Are you sure? I hear the best cure is the kiss applied directly to the boo-boo. That's ridiculous. The mouth is a cesspool of bacteria. That's a good way for a boo-boo to get infected. Then it's a good thing you had your first aid kit handy, dupe. You never know when you might need some snake bite lotion. Do you run into many snakes on the job? According to community center policy, the answer to that question is no. Now, uh, if you'll excuse me, I have a completely non-snake-related emergency to attend to. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely gonna need this. Wow. This is great. Thanks, sweetie. No problem. Happy to help. So, what do I owe you? Oh, and using me for one of your science experiments, again, is off the table. Why? What do you have against science? Those bug pheromones you sprayed me with last time still haven't worn off. Do you know how weird it is to be attracted to every ladybug that flutters by? I was just hoping you would let me work with you on your comic. Wait, so you're saying the price for you helping me is... to keep helping me? University is expensive. If your online comic fails, my entire future's at risk. 
So, do we have a deal? Okay, let's shake on it. Actually, I've prepared this contract. <laughs> well, equal partners? No chance. Well, I guess you could help me out with my science project instead. You're not allergic to bee stings, are you? I'll sign the contract. <laughs> Well, hello there, little lady. <laughs> Haven't seen you around here before. Did you just fly in? <laughs> Dad? Dude! Who are you talking to? What? <laughs> Nobody. Oh, good. For a second there, I thought you were hitting on that ladybug. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> that would be crazy. <laughs> Don't tell your mother. Oh, hey, there she is now, the human woman that I fell in love with. Those pheromones still haven't worn off? The heart wants what the heart wants. Where's Lori? She's been helping me with the comic strip. She actually wants to be business partners. How adorable is that? As long as you don't sign one of her contracts. Even if I did, it's not like it would hold up in court. Right? Right? <laughs> So? How boring was it helping mom all night? I bet it was pure torture. It was okay. Ha <laughs> ha! I knew it would. Wait, what? <laughs> You're hiding something from me. I know it. I have great twin stings. <laughs> I also have a gift for puns. You really don't. <laughs> Boys! I just got booked for a huge last minute event for tomorrow night. I hate to ask, but... I'll do it. Oh, okay. Thank you. So, you want to work with Mom. Very twincheresting. Don't start. I know you're up to something, but I have twin sufficient evidence. I'm leaving. Come back here! I'm not twinished with you! Okay, now I'm twinished. Chelsea, she remembered my name. Well, I do see you every day. And I'm all she thinks about. You know I can hear you, right? And she's hanging on my every word. Well, you don't seem to need me for this conversation. Oh, if you see Larry, tell him I had fun working with him last night. Wait. You worked with Larry last night? So that's what he was hiding. Oh, he will pay for this. He will pay dearly. I can still hear you. And still, she hangs on my every word. My every, and she's gone. All done. Great. So we're off and running. Right. About that. I was reading your new stuff and I have some notes. You thought it was too funny? <laughs> you know how you end this one with Larry getting his face shoved in a pie? <laughs> yeah, funny, right? Well, it just seems a little... Funny. The word is funny. Lowbrow. Unsophisticated. You. <laughs> Well, how would you write it? Instead of Larry getting a pie in the face, he could simply pause it on the very nature of pie. Sometimes it's a main course, sometimes it's dessert. And don't even get me started on quiche. All right, I guess we could try it. I got this. Why don't you get us a sandwich? Oh. Great call! <laughs> That's why you're the boss! <laughs> hey, Dad. Where's Mom? Oh, uh, she went to work with Luke. With Luke? But I was supposed to go with her. Well, I'd invite you to come to work with me, but I just took on a new partner, and I don't think I have any openings. <laughs> Did you want to leave your resume on file? 
No! I want to work with Mom. But apparently Luke went in my place and you just let that happen. Well, I'm not your personal assistant. I'm a grown man with important things to do. Stanley, why do I not have a sandwich in my hand? Right away, sir. That's amazing. You think that's cool? Check out this sweet slam. Booyah! Nailed it! Wow, you sure know how to make an impression. On the wall. Good one. Chelsea, have you seen my two-dimensional backstabbing brother? When I find him, I'm gonna flatten him. Too late, the wall beat you to it. Hey, I could have easily taken that wall. I just didn't want to embarrass it in front of the lady. Well, I should get back to work. Come find me later, we'll hang out. Absolutely. You bet. Why are you sabotaging my relationship? Your relationship? Chelsea's my girl. You just made a big mistake. Big snake? Where? <laughs> Nobody said snake. Oh, <laughs> good. Carry on, then. Now, where were we? You were just saying how you'd had enough and were going home. That's right! I'll see you later. <laughs> I can't believe that almost worked. Luke, there you are. Larry, what are you doing here? I could ask you the same thing. But I won't because I know you work here. Lisa! Lisa, we have a problem. Someone overbooked tonight's event. We have twice the number of people we were expecting. Aren't you the one who does the booking? Let's not go pointing fingers. <laughs> but it's your job to make sure they all get fed. It's a good thing you're both here. I could use an extra set of hands in the kitchen. No problem. Ta-da! <laughs> I meant yours and your brother's. Oh, hmm. that's a relief. These are really more for show. <laughs> All right, the new comic has been online for two hours. Let's see how it's doing. <laughs> see, we have over 8,000 hits. Hey, that's great. OK, I have no idea if that's great or not. <laughs> well, we certainly got the eyeballs. Now, let's see the number of likes. Three zeros. Now, in the world of computers, what does that translate to? Translation, nobody liked it. Because they loved it? We both know that's not the case. Okay, let's not panic. Maybe we can inflate our numbers. No wonder there's no likes. The button is broken. Yeah, that must be it. Okay. We don't have a lot of time, so you boys make the subs, and I'll do salad. Where are the knives and stuff? We can't cut the bread without a knife. Don't panic. I know bread foo. hi -ya! <laughs> All right. I only have my white bread belt. <laughs> I must have left my kitchen utensils in the car. Larry, can you rush out and get them? Of course. And if I happen to run into a certain girl on the way, I'll be sure to put in a good word for myself. <laughs> I should probably go help Larry. We're on a tight schedule here, and you know how easily he gets distracted. Actually, it's you who tends to get distracted. Ooh, what's that shiny thing up there? <laughs> so, what were we talking about? I was just saying how easily you tend to get distracted. Oh, right. Gotta help Larry. <laughs> just once, I wish he would let me finish my... Ooh, that is shiny. <laughs> I really appreciate you helping me put up a flyer, guys. I never would have guessed it was a three-person job. <laughs> so, who brought the flyer? Uh... Apparently, it's a four-person job. Don't worry. Luke will go get it. Me? Why don't you get it? 
Why should I get it? You were the one that forgot it in the first place. That wasn't my job, that was your job. No, it wasn't. It was clearly yours. Okay, I got the flyer. <laughs> now, who brought the push pins? Uh... Seriously? <laughs> On, boys, where are you? Hey! Is everything okay, Mrs. Stanley? Sorry, I'm a little bit panicked. Good thing I was close by. Most of the types we get around here aren't poisonous. But if they manage to get a few coils around your neck... Wait, what? I've said too much. I'm panicked because my boys went to get kitchen tools 20 minutes ago and they haven't come back. Well, I've got tools right here. Okay, let's see. Here, we have a mustard spreader <laughs> and a sandwich pick. Personally, I like my subs toasted. <laughs> this actually might work, but I still need something to cut the subs. I've got something for that, too. <laughs> I half expected you to saw the whole table in half. <laughs> Lisa, is the food ready yet? The mood out there is starting to turn ugly. It won't be much longer. Excellent. Is that a chainsaw? Mm. That's right. And there's also no snake problem. <laughs> Have I told you lately how proud I am of you? <laughs> and also you're fired. That could work. <laughs> oh, there you are. Laurie, hey, um... Have I told you lately how proud I am of you? Are you firing me? <laughs> no, never! Maybe. There's something I want to show you. That's my original comic strip. I thought you preferred your version. I do, but I thought I'd let the public decide. See, you have over 600 likes. Conclusion? Your version is funnier. That's very interesting. <laughs> Maybe the world just isn't ready for your brand of intellectual hilarity. It's just too... highbrow. Cerebral. You. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. You really are fired, though. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll get that flyer up if it takes all night. And I won't lie to you. Part of me hopes it does. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I gotta head out. My boyfriend's picking me up. Boyfriend? You have a boyfriend? Did you meet him when you went to get that flyer? <laughs> I'll tell you all about him the next time you're here working with your mom. Mom! <laughs> oh no, we're dead! Not if we act fast. First, we'll need bus tickets to somewhere far away. <laughs> then, we can create new identities. Can I be named Carlos? I've always wanted to be a <laughs> Carlos. Luke! Larry! Pleased to meet you, stranger. My name is Carlos. <laughs> Where have you been? Is this why you wanted to come to work with me so you could hang out with your friends? I'm sorry, Mom. As is Carlos. <laughs> sorry isn't gonna feed a hungry mob. It's my fault. I needed their help putting up this flyer. It's a work in progress. <laughs> Thanks for the assist, Chelsea. Where did you learn that? My grandparents used to own a deli. I stacked a lot of subs in my day. <laughs> Hold them off any longer. We need a distraction. Quick, throw them the children. That won't be necessary. We're ready. Oh, wonderful. I was kidding about the children. <laughs> Those look great. Well, I had some help. This was all Chelsea. Maybe she could be my permanent assistant. Really? What? 
No, I need her to do all my grunt work. Administrative duties. <laughs> you know, I don't think these are quite ready. <laughs> Last chance to revisit the throwing of the children idea. No? Fine, she could do both. Well, it looks like everything worked out in the end. And nobody got in trouble from their mom? Oh, you're still in big trouble, mister. That goes for you too, Luke. Luke? There is no Luke. Only Carlos. Carlos is grounded for a week. Carlos, accept your terms. <sighs> you crimson temptress, you. Those spots of yours are hypnotic. I could fall into them, just float away forever. <clears throat> no, don't you judge me. This is your doing. Actually, when I did that experiment, you were in the placebo group. Placebo? So you're saying you didn't really spray me with bug pheromones? It was tap water. <laughs> this? This is all you. <laughs> We were growing apart anyway.